All right, this is John Kola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. We're all the way here in Hilo, Hawaii, and I've traveled here to answer one simple question. Are all nuts cooked? Uh, some people in the raw foods movement say, oh yeah, if you're eating nuts, man, you're a cooked foodist because they're all cooked. They can't be raw. They're all rancid. You know, and if you're eating nuts, it's like the boon of the world. It's like the worst thing you could ever do because fats, fats are uh, bad, fail. Don't eat the fats, no good, you know. I, on the other hand, think, you know, a small amount of fats, especially from whole foods like nuts, not oils or any kind of processed stuff, can be helpful if eaten in small quantities. So we're here today to determine if the Mauna Loa macadamia nuts are raw or cooked. Now, macadamia nuts, they probably be like one of my favorite nuts. They're actually a very high fat content compared to other nuts. In addition, for me, they have a nice balance of omega-3s to 6s, and they're not gonna mess up your three to six ratio as much as, say, almonds would, that are really high in sixes and not don't have enough omega-3s, and I think uh, many people uh, in general these days, including raw foodists, may not have the right omega-3 to 6 balance. So in any case, we're gonna find out if these nuts are raw, and then we could extrapolate you know, to find out if other nuts are raw too. So after watching this episode, you will truly know if all nuts are cooked or if maybe some of them are raw. We got a three mile drive down to the visitor center, so let's head down the road, check it out. All right, so we're driving on our way to the visitor center here at the Mauna Loa Macadamia Nut Farm. And as you guys can see, I'm passing by literally acres and acres of trees. Um, let's see, I believe they have like a, a quarter of a million macadamia nut trees. That's 250,000 trees. That's definitely a lot of trees. And that produces definitely a lot of nuts. I think what I want to do next for you guys is actually stop on the side of the road and share with you guys uh, what macadamia nuts look like uh, on the tree if we could find any. And also, uh, once they're ripe and uh, dropped off the tree on the ground. All right, now I've stopped. We're in the macadamia nut orchard. They're literally thousands of trees here uh, what we're gonna do next actually uh, share with you guys hopefully if I could find some ones green on the tree still and also some ones that are more ripe that have been dropped on the ground all right so we're in luck it's a time of year where they have green nuts on the tree and here's what they look like here's a tree and here's the nuts just hanging on there now they're green now you don't want to be pulling these off the tree and then trying to break off the husk and then crack the shell and get the nut inside it's gonna be really starchy and not optimal to eat. So what needs to happen is, much like with fruit, we need to wait until the tree freely drops the nut because then and only then is the sugar content right and it's ripe, ready to be harvested at its optimal sweetness. So uh, let's go ahead and look down at the ground and see if we can find any ripe nuts. All right, so on the ground, there's lots of nuts underneath this tree. As you guys can see, here's a recent drop. It's dropped off the tree and it's green and it's a little bit cracked, ready to open up. And if we look harder, we can maybe find some uh, ones that are brown that are starting to split. Maybe uh, dig it open with our fingernail, if we're lucky, and uh, basically uh, dehusk it. Let's see if I can find one cracked open here. All right, looks like this one's actually already cracked open. Check it out. It's like cracked open. You can just basically now come open and uh, just get the nut out. Now, to, what we have to do now is we need to use like a hammer or two rocks to smash this um, nut against the rocks to get it open. It takes like... 300 pounds of pressure to uh, open one of these nuts so they are very hard so yes they have raw nuts here in the field if you pick them up yourself but the question is after they process them and get the nuts out for you are they still raw so uh, let's head down the rest of the road to find out how they process them to get them out of the husk you know because most of them they're picking up are still in the husk and they're not easy to crack open and they don't have a workforce of a thousand people hand opening these guys. They got a big huge factory with machinery and industrialized stuff to do all this stuff on a massive level to keep the prices down and for them to make the most profit. All right, so now we're at the Mauna Loa Macadamia Nut headquarters here. And this is their visitor center. Inside the visitor center, uh, you could buy like some of the different macadamia nut products. And unfortunately, they don't sell any raw nuts here or even any that are labeled raw because they might be raw after they process them, but then they roast them all uh, before they enrobe them in chocolate or, you know, sauce them up with some seasonings and spices. So I don't necessarily recommend those kind of nuts because they definitely are cooked. 
But the reason why I'm here today is to find out if they're nuts through their process of the deshelling, taking them out of the shell, and once they get them before they're roasted and processed into their uh, nut products, um, is it really raw? So actually there's a factory tour over yonder, so uh, let's head over the factory tour and uh, let's see what I can find out. So now we're here at the factory and I'm gonna go on the factory tour and self-guided and learn how the nuts are processed and we we'll back at you to share with you guys how they're processed. So we'll know if they're truly raw or cooked. This is how the factory works. What happens is those nuts come off the tree like in the husk that you guys saw. They remove the husk and then they got the little hard nuts. And uh, what happens is it then goes into those big little silos there on the side and it's in there that's a dryer it stays in there for 10 days to dry out the nut take all the moisture out uh, they do this because after they dry it they put it through the cracking process if they don't remove all the moisture the nut sticks to the shell and it will not freely fall and they, they will thereby lose profits so I have confirmed here that the temperature that it's heated at for 10 days straight is above 118 degrees so the nuts here are cooked all right so as you guys just saw the nuts at the Mauna Loa nut company were cooked 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 <laughs> I don't want you guys to buy cooked nuts you know I want you guys to have raw nuts and I got plenty of raw nuts here let me go ahead and give you guys a close-up on this these are my fresh picked macadamia nuts. Now, no, I did not pick these at the Mauna Loa. Actually, I went to another nut farm, or a farmer actually, and I picked these right from underneath the trees myself. Uh, they came in the husk and all, kind of like you guys saw earlier. And now I need to basically de-husk each one, and once they're in a little shell like this, I can now, you know, uh, bring these back to the state side for me so I will have truly raw macadamia nuts. So you know, I don't want you to think in terms of black and white. All nuts are cooked. No, all nuts are raw. Well, what's the truth? You know, processed nuts, nuts you buy in the store, in my opinion, are more closer to the cook side. You know, most of them may be cooked and heated in excess of temperatures that people, you know, like me, raw foodists would like. In addition, they can't have other treatments done to them. So recently in California, they passed a law where all almonds need to be uh, pasteurized before sale, you know, if bought in regular uh, outlets. So regular, regular outlets are like the health food store or the grocery store or whatnot. So they actually uh, can either steam sterilize them, which, uh, you know, uh, can't heat them up. Or number two, they can use chemicals to uh, basically kill the pathogens. And that's why they're pasteurizing them, because the industry is afraid of some kind of outbreak from bacterial illnesses that are not inherent in cell themselves in the almonds but inherent in having to do with the growing practices like the animal manures and other contaminants that may occur during growing or you know secondarily processing certain raw nuts you buy in the stores like raw cashews 99 percent of the time are heat processed to get out of the nut if I was able to go to a cashew tree this trip, I would have. I would have showed you the cashew apple tree. It makes a nice little apple-like fruit with a little appendage on the top, which is the nut. But anyways, if you have the cashew uh, nut on the top of the fruit, you gotta peel it off, and then there's like a casing on it. You need to peel that off, you know, much like the casing would be on here. And now when you're peeling that off on a macadamia nut, super simple, super easy, but when you're peeling it off on the cashew apple, there's toxins in there that if you get on your skin it'll start to burn your skin you're like wait John cashew nuts like they burn your skin if you got them in nature absolutely I mean one of the stories I like to tell is I went to Costa Rica one time and at this uh, butterfly sanctuary bed and breakfast place that I was staying at they had a nice beautiful cashew apple outside and I'd see all the brilliant fruit like look like uh, Christmas tree ornaments on a Christmas tree right because they're really that beautiful and uh, my girlfriend at the time uh, loves eating the fruit she'd eat the fruit and then if we look down on the ground you'd see all the nuts uneaten nuts and I'm like well aren't there birds and monkeys and animals in the area why don't they eat the nuts and the guy told me well there's toxins in the shell because you know the reason why the tree makes the nuts is not for human consumption or animal consumption it's for the tree to be able to reproduce and grow more trees and if, if animals ate all the nuts that would cause the extinction of the nut trees so the owner of the B&B &B told me that, you know, they had to actually take the nuts and then roast them to basically cook off the toxins so that they're able to eat them. And actually that's how 
the majority of even raw cashews in the bulk bins are produced in this day and age. Now there is a special technique where they use machinery to get into the nuts, wear gloves, at, you know, without using the heat, but those nuts are particularly uh, expensive. And the other thing I've learned is that the cashew nuts, which once again are a legume, don't necessarily digest that well for me. I would much rather use the macadamia nuts that are a bona fide real tree nut and digest much better, uh, you know, uh, for me. Also, I've heard that some people have uh, issues with eating cashew nuts, like if they eat the raw cashews out of the bulk bins, which many raw food recipes use to make creamy sauces, they don't feel so good afterwards. So I always encourage you guys to listen to your body and see how you feel after you eat any nut, whether raw or cooked. So another challenge when you buy raw nuts at the bulk bins at the health food store, and you might think you're still buying raw nuts if they're labeled raw walnuts, well, they may or may not be raw because there is no definition of what raw means to the industry. And uh, be sure to click my link below where I give a talk just because it's raw doesn't mean it's healthy where I uh, share with you guys some uh, criteria for raw foods for me that's true for me uh, but also you know the industry like we've learned at the Mauna Loa nut farm uh, is in it for one reason only they're not here to bring you raw nuts you know they don't give a shit if your nuts are raw or not what they give a shit about is selling their nuts and selling them to people before they go rancid. So their whole concern is processing as many nuts as fast as possible they can so that they can get them out the door and make more moolah. And this is how our food system is currently set up. So I want you to be aware, you know, if you're buying industrial products from the health food store in trade at the grocery store, you know, your nuts are in many cases cooked, although you still can get some raw nuts in your grocery stores and at your health food store. So another thing that I talked about a little bit earlier was rancid, you know, nuts going rancid. And it is true, nuts, once they're out of their shell, and guess what? Their shell is like, like a Ziploc bag. And I mean, it's the ultimate Ziploc bag. This nut could stay viable and fresh in here for months and months because it needs to, because one day it's gonna stay viable in here the weather conditions are going to be right if it's below the tree on the ground. It's going to rain on it and it's going to sprout a new plant and that's the whole reason for the nut. You know, so you could have a raw nut, you could have a raw and viable nut, right? Maybe a raw nut is heated below 118 degrees to dry it, but just because it's raw doesn't mean it's even going to sprout. So, uh, you know, what I look for really, the, the key factor for me is having viable nuts that will actually sprout and turn into the trees because we know those in my opinion and my definition is truly raw and the best. But what happens after you take the nuts out of the shell, you know, out of the outer casing here and out of the shell, then the nut is exposed to the air. Once the nut is exposed to the air, well, yeah, nuts have antioxidants in there to protect them from oxidation, which they will also transfer to us once we eat them. But at some point, the nuts will go rancid and it's quite unfortunate that many stores sell rancid nuts, and I do want you to be aware of this. How can you know if your store sells rancid nuts? Well, number one, ask the store how often they sell the nuts. How often do you have to refill the macadamia nuts? You know, Maybe they only refill the macadamia nuts once every two months because nobody ever buys them. You wanna buy the nuts that stores turn over on a fast pace because they're always getting a fresh supply in, putting them in and selling them, and people are eating them so they're not hanging out. The longer a nut hangs out, especially out of the shell, you know, the higher probability it has to go rancid. And bad fats, in my opinion, are probably about as bad as processed, isolated nutrients, you know, like found in white sugar, because, you know, once again, that's a processed, highly processed food. And once again, most nuts found in the health food store even, that maybe even labeled raw, are highly processed because, you know, you guys saw the process. They come out the tree and the whole thing, they gotta take the shell off, then they gotta heat this guy to get it out of the shell uh, because it sticks in its, when it's in the shell. Actually, let me go ahead and show you guys you know, what these nuts look like when they are truly raw. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take one of these nuts here and we're gonna go ahead and use uh, two rocks to bash them open and uh, break it open because you know, I'm human, I could use tools, I got rocks. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place the nut down on the rock in a little divot area here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, other rock and smash. 
and you don't want to smash too much or it's going to fragment everywhere. So as you guys can see, we got this guy cracked. We pull this apart and as you guys can see, we got the uh, nut right here. And this nut is actually quite soft and uh, you know, I can squish it in my hands. It's almost like a water chestnut consistency if you've ever had a fresh water and chestnut, not canned, because those are cooked. <laughs> canned foods are cooked foods. <laughs> I dropped my nuts. <laughs> dropped my nuts again. <laughs> All right, so these nuts here, if you want to eat these, once again, raw nuts off the tree, on the ground, for probably like a week or two before I harvested them. Nice and soft, not too hard. When I'm chewing it up, it reminds you of kind of eating, like I could taste the mac nut, brilliant flavor, but also it's a fair bit starchy and it's not that rich because you know, it doesn't have the level of fat and it's diluted with water. Mmm, but good nonetheless. So the, what happens is the fresh macadamia nuts have a high tendency to stick to the shell, especially if they're not dried. So it's in the you know uh, nut processors or farms best interest to heat them up and dry them out fully so that when they crack the nut the little kernel on the inside just drops out and i mean i'm hand cracking each one so i could actually pick off the nut on the inside out as needed but the problem is you know manufacturers don't have people sitting there deshelling each nut what happens is they put it in industrial equipment in like the factory you guys saw that needs to be all automated and that the, the nuts are not dry enough they're not going to separate and if they don't separate that means the company or the farm loses their profits so this is why you know on industrial scale they're concerned about profits not rawness and this is why you know many nuts you may be buying in the bulk bins are not truly raw because it, it's all industrialized you know once again i want to encourage you guys to get away from eating processed foods and yes nuts in your bulk bins that have been dried and dehusked, I do call that a process. Now, it's not as processed as, say, white sugar, where they actually take the sugar cane, they juice it, uh, they cook it to make it into crystals, and then they basically uh, make it white because they're taking all the minerals out of it. It's not that processed, but it still is a process. And my goal for you guys is to eat unprocessed and eat foods found in nature. So for example, you guys could be gardening, you guys could be growing your own leafy greens, you guys could be growing your own fruits outside. Pick it from the Garden of Eden and eat it. Eat your fruits, eat your greens, those are the best raw foods. Grow a nut tree if you live in Hawaii, plant a macadamia nut tree, harvest your own nuts, you will know if they're raw. You're like thinking, John, I'd love to do that, but I live in New York City. New York City! <laughs> Can't do that. Well. So then let me go ahead and go into uh, some three top tips I'm gonna share with you guys on how to get raw nuts. As you guys heard, tip number one, grow your own nuts. Super simple, super easy. I mean, here in Hawaii, macadamia nut trees just grow like crazy. Like crazy, plant the nut, plant the seed, get a little plant, grows, you're gonna have your own nuts. In other parts of the country, you can grow your own nut trees. Northern California is famous for like growing walnuts. Walnuts are absolutely delicious. Central Valley, California, they grow some amazing almonds. You know, places like uh, Utah, they grow pecans, have some amazing pecans. Texas, they also grow pecans. The South, they grow pecans. I mean, uh, in Nevada, Southern Nevada, Nevada, they grow pine nuts. Mm, those pine nuts are absolutely delicious. I mean, depending on where you live, you can grow different kinds of nuts and it's awesome. Now, if you're unable to grow your own nuts, what you want to do, number two, is you want to buy Farmer Direct. You don't want to go through a middleman. You want to go to a farmer's market and make sure that farmer at the farmer's market, because not all farmer's markets have farmers. A lot of them have middlemen just reselling stuff they bought at the wholesale terminal, which is, once again, industrialized uh, crops and produce just sold in trade to make the dinero, to make the money. So you want to buy direct from farmers and ask them about the processing. Many of the farmers markets I go to in California, the farmers are there selling their nuts. I mean, I just bought some nuts in Southern California, some macadamia nuts, $5 a pound in the shell, and they dried them in the sun, so they are truly raw. And let me tell you, you guys can definitely taste the difference between raw and cooked. 
I mean, it's a big night and day. Like these are quite sweet, really chewy because they have high water content. You know, the ones that are raw, that are uh, processed and heated at low temperature before they get them out of the nut, which can take days actually, have a nice rich flavor instead of a, a, a more bland flavor and even sometimes like bitter or blah flavor. Actually, that's one of the signs that your nuts are rancid. So buy direct from the farmer. And if you can't go to your farmer's market to buy direct from farmer, there are many farmers online that sell their nuts directly. So, you know, go to their websites. I have, you know, uh, resources for where I buy some of my nuts, you know, from farmers actually in Hawaii when I run out of my private stash that I bring back every year with me. And I get the top quality nuts, you know, that are, that are awesome. So if you can't buy the nuts from direct from the farmer, right because that's the best you, you you buy it from the farmer you know they grow it maybe they even have a video on how they process it which i think all nut producers should do especially independent nut producers small farms small families they should have nothing to hide this is how we process our nuts let people know so that people can make informed decisions also share their growing practices you know and hopefully they're enriching their soil with good compost and rock dust minerals to have a higher quality nut i like high quality nuts <laughs> so if you can't get from the farmer the third way I'm going to recommend is purchase from a trusted source. What is a trusted source? A trusted source is a place like a middleman that you can trust that buys it direct from the farmer in large bark bulk quantities that you know you can trust, whether that's a raw food superstore online or wherever it is, whether it's a reseller on eBay. I've sourced my nuts all over the place from, you know, uh, sellers online, raw food superstores to like actually eBay you know people that have like their cousins dad has a farm and they, they get the nuts from them and they sell them and you know just check them out make sure they're legitimate and then more importantly once you get the first batch of nuts right taste them if they taste better than the ones from the health food store bulk bins you know they're definitely higher quality and probably more closer to raw than what you're getting once again i always encourage you guys to do the best to do are the choices either raw nuts or no nuts of course not you know the the options are there's raw nuts that are truly raw, you know, nuts that are, you know, uh, more minimally processed, nuts that are, you know, labeled raw but heat processed at high temperature, and then there's roasted nuts. Of course, I always recommend you guys get the rawest nuts that you can, you know, on the spectrum that I just outlined for you. So another way you can get a trusted source that does sell raw nuts, you know, and, and handles them all the time like many of the raw food companies. Um, another way you can buy nuts to ensure they're at least a little less processed is buy your nuts in shell. Yeah, I said buy your nuts in shell. So if you buy your nuts in the shell, you know, they may have been hopefully uh, dried in a, in a way that preserves more nutrition because the companies are not having to crack them, you know, and they're not concerned if the nut sticks to the shell. In most cases, you know, nuts have to be heated at a hot temperature for a longer period of time to get it completely dry and get the moisture out. And in cases where they're just selling a shell, they may dry it actually at lower temperatures. Then again, they may not. But nonetheless, nuts and shell have that nice hard casing, the nice ultimate saran wrap or ziplock around it that's going to keep it fresher longer so that it will not go rancid. Another benefit of buying them in shell is that you will eat a lot less of them. Let me tell you, when you got to sit there with a hammer like I did one night in my old uh, house that I rented, I had a hammer and then another hammer, I'd crack each one in the middle of the night and my friend Dave was sleeping and I'd wake him up and I could crack one, eat it, and then have to like get another one out, crack one and eat it. You're going to eat them a lot slower and a lot less quantity <laughs> than just going to the bulk bin, opening the bulk bin and having piles of nuts come out and be able to shove them in your mouth. <laughs> So yeah, buy the nuts in shell whenever possible. Nuts, let's talk about, you know, uh, how much nuts to eat. You know, so in my opinion, nuts are definitely a health food. You know, I believe people should include some nuts in their diet. Now, most people in the raw foods, in my opinion, include far too many nuts and they're actually eating a nut-based diet. A lot of the nut-based recipes and different pâtés and different things. They eat far too many nuts and most of their calories are coming for nuts. I do not advocate this. What I advocate is actually getting your calories from other sorts than fats or from nuts. So like for me, the majority of my calories come from fruit. And yes, I like to enjoy like a handful or maybe two because I'm a lenient um, a day of nuts. Normally it's about a handful and some days it's none. 
And of course, these are the highest quality nuts that I could find. You know, there are studies that show nuts contain antioxidants and other uh, polyphenols and nutrients that are really healthy for us. And if you're excluding all nuts from your diet, you may not get be getting some of these beneficial things. So the last thing I'd like to share with you guys today is that, you know, uh, besides nuts, there's other fat sources in a raw foods diet. You know, some of my favorite fat sources in a raw foods diet are avocados, the coconut, I particularly like the young coconut meats, although I will use the more mature coconut meat once it's been processed like into a milk or something like that, you know, for a little source of fat instead of my nuts during the day. And of course, the almighty durian has a higher fat percentage than probably most other fruits out there. Another uh, fruit that I actually like to eat on occasion are olives. Sun-dried olives that have been desalted by soaking in water are another excellent fat source that I like to include, you know, in small quantities in my diet. So hopefully after watching this episode, you've learned that not all nuts are cooked, 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 as some people would maybe lead you to believe. You can source raw nuts. It does take a little bit of work and perseverance to find the farmers, find the sources, find trusted sources that you could buy from, or come to vacation on Hawaii and pick them yourself, go on vacation to different areas to pick your own nuts, or you know just get them through the mail from direct from the farmer, or buy through trusted sources that you could be assured to get the highest quality nuts. And don't be afraid to speak up. If you get some nuts that taste rancid, taste bad, let the farmers know. Most farmers are really good people that will actually replace a bad batch because every once in a while you will get a bad nut. So hopefully after watching this episode, you'll know for reals now that you can truly get some raw nuts. I'll go ahead and put a link down below to my number one trusted source of mac nuts direct from the farmer that does have a dehydration process that produces some of the cheapest and highest quality raw mac nuts you'll find. At present time, they're about $10 a pound delivered anywhere in the US if you order like 10 pounds or so. So I'll post uh, maybe some of my more other resources in the future once I talk to them and uh, find out I could share them so that they could, that you guys can get some uh, raw nuts no matter where you live. So once again, I always want to encourage you guys to eat your fruits and vegetables, you know, as a primary source of your calories in your diet, eat a handful of nuts, uh, you know, for some fun to add some fat and actually to get better absorption and nutrition in some of the phyto phytochemicals and phytonutrients, you know, that's in your nightly salad. That's normally how I eat my nuts. Once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. All right, this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Aloha from Hawaii. As you guys can see here, I'm sitting in Hawaii next to the beach there. You can see the